Hello and welcome to the second instalment of the Vimoya series. Last week I shared the origin story. If you missed that, please do check in the description bar for the link to that so you can catch up. This week I'm sharing how we went from a spark to a full-blown passion project. Okay, let's get straight into it. Enjoy. The Vimoya Foundation was born out of an ache that wouldn't go away. They say, the thing that breaks your heart is probably the thing you should spend the rest of your life trying to fix. So I set out on a journey of discovery. But first I had to figure out what exactly is the problem? My trip helped me to realize that the media and the uncles at church were not reliable sources of information. <laughs> so my truth journey began. Maya Angelou said, if you don't know where you have come from, you don't know where you are going. And so I needed to know where Africa was headed based on what we had already gone through. Africa was already on a path set for it by those who had already come before us. And if we were gonna change its fate and its course, we needed to know what had been done in the past. My research led me to very eye-opening discoveries. But today I'd like to focus on one, the power of one. Africans have always put their trust in one, a leader, a ruler, and today a president. Someone that would solve all of Africa's problems all by themselves, and they were above reproach. It was this reliance on the one that has led to tyrannical rulers and heroic leaders that eventually became self-seeking because in spite of their best efforts, the best of men are still men at their very best. We need to move from the power of one to the power of many. We cannot continue to wait on a human savior to solve all of Africa's problems. In fact, we've waited long enough. Africa needs all its children to rise up and play their part. That's why at the core of the Vimoya Foundation's action plan will be collaboration. We want to work alongside pre-existing organizations to improve their efficiency and effectiveness. Next, I had to figure out what is Africa's strength? It's known for its natural resources, but I'd like to propose today that its human resources are where their strength lies. The African population is the second biggest continent in the world with 1.7 billion people. But if we look closer, we realize that all its inhabitants or many of them are young. The median age of an African is 19.7 years, compared to 42.6 in Europe. This isn't a weakness, but a strength. There's a lot of work to do, and we need all hands on deck to get it done. That is why Vimoye will focus on equipping this group so that we can mobilize our population. This led me to my third and final question. How were we going to do that? I read a statement somewhere that said there weren't enough jobs, so I assumed that we needed to increase the number of jobs available and that would be it. But at a closer look, I realized that though there was a job shortage, the skills shortage was more of the problem. There were jobs out there, but companies struggle to find the quality candidates to fill those roles. So essentially, these companies were growing at a slower rate than they were capable of. If we skilled these workers, the economy would grow. So the Vimo Foundation will focus on education to increase the pool of candidates in Africa. So that's my goal, to improve access to education for the youth population by working alongside pre-existing African organizations. But where was I going to start? So there you have it, the Vimoye goal, which is to improve access to education for the youth population by working alongside pre-existing African-focused educational organisations. Boom. I wish I could say the journey to that was as easy as I made it sound in the story. It looked really smooth, but in real life it felt like this throughout the entire process. And it felt confusing at times, I felt fear, 
and many other emotions. And I had to make many iterations before I got to that statement. And then I mentioned that between the spark and the passion project was seven years. Yeah, sometimes you just can't give up, you know? So now we have a mission statement, something we wanna get done, but how are we going to get it done? You're going to have to tune in next week to find out. In the meantime, please do like, comment, subscribe and share. That's it for me today. See you again next week. Bye.